to it. So beautiful. That's spring skiing. Spring skiing capital of the world. we would go for a hike and I picked it in random place on all trails and we've had a lot of success with all trails well we got here and it was not really a good place to park but we risked it and we thought we'd see how much snow there was and there's a lot of snow um so yeah I fell a few times in the snow but yeah it's supposed to be the Tahoe Rim Trail to Page Meadows, which I think is supposed to be really beautiful in like the fall and springtime or summertime, but you know, we thought we'd give it a try. And yeah, it was fun. But we're uh, ready to head back. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, come without the snow. Well, I would continue still too, but we're not that prepared to be sinking every so often. <laughs> not for me. All right, let's go. days here at Tahoe and we're staying at I think it's called Tahoe Marina Boulevard Tahoe Marina something or another I'll confirm the name but we've stayed here in these buildings before and we really really enjoy it and um, this time we only stayed in a one bedroom that is um, a downstairs unit and it was really great we had a nice time it's like the perfect spot for a one for just one couple or like a one um, so this was our bedroom I fold all the sheets back because I was wanting to make sure we didn't leave anything, but it was really cozy. All of the rooms have their own little heating system, which um, we never felt cold at all, but big enough. And I'll turn that light off because we're about to leave. They have this really cute hallway. They got all the little decor. Um, 
a nice easy bathroom, had everything we needed. Again, it had its own little heater in there, so I like to turn that on when I took a shower. Um, and this was the main living space, and we spent most of our time in here. At first it felt kind of small and a little cramped, but then it, we realized it had everything that we needed. Um, we pretty much spent all our time on the couch um, when we were here, whether we were like watching stuff on television, or we were um, playing games, or we even ate most of our meals there. Uh, we made a fire almost every night and um, didn't have a lot of success with the fires, but uh, the last night it burned way too late, so that was a funny moment. Um, but it was really, it's really cozy. It's got a really efficient kitchen. So a small little stove, kind of like a little mini fridge. So it's smaller than we expected, but it's the perfect size really for two people. We were able to cook a lot here, most of our meals. Um, had everything we needed. So that was great. And then I think my favorite part is that even though most of the view is kind of of this like garden area and some of the other buildings, you still get a really nice view of the lake and the mountains off in the distance. So um, you get a nice nature feel and it's been, it's April, but it's been so hot. So we just spent the past hour or so sitting outside. We get really great morning light um, and it was really warm. Got to read my paper, drink my coffee. And yeah, we had a great time. We went skiing, we went hiking. We did a little bit of nothing, and it was the perfect spot for that. So we're about to go drop our keys off and head home. Oh, we so we stayed in um, Unit 20, and we've also stayed in Unit 42, which is over there, which is a two-bed, um, and it's a two-story. Basically, what I figured out was this living space here is actually what becomes the master bedroom in the two-unit, and then the kitchen and the living space is upstairs, but because it's just a one bedroom, they turned all of this into the living space. Yeah, so sad to leave, but happy to go home. So we are on our way home and there was, after doing the tour of the apartment or the Airbnb we got, I remembered that there were a few reasons that I forgot to mention that we liked staying there. Uh, and it was because we went and got gas right across the street from where we stayed and right next to the gas station is also a grocery store. So one of the best parts about where we stayed is that it's centrally located in Tahoe City where a lot of things are walkable. So there's plenty of restaurants that are within walking distance. There's a trail along the lake, which is really beautiful, that goes on for a good amount, I don't know, miles. We at least walked like a half mile or a mile of it last night for the sunset and there's a little beach and people were picnicking and having their dinners outside. It was really nice. And there's a bunch of restaurants along the lake there that had outdoor seating too with little heaters out. But the there's also a grocery store that's walking distance. Um, it's got its own pier there that you can walk out to. It's got its own private beach, which would be really nice in the summertime, which we've yet to stay there in the summer. And there was other there's a pool. Yes, that would be great. I think there's tennis courts too, but they're not sure. But there's yeah. a couple of things. There's tennis courts. Yeah, there's lots of oops, there's lots of things to do. And just everything is walkable, which I love. Um, and it's only like a 10 or 15 minute drive to Squaw Valley. Um, and you know, the, what was nice about the hikes there or the walking areas there is that everything was clear. There was no snow. So like the whole walking paths were cleared off. So you didn't have to worry about that. That made it like a nice little hike, but yeah. 10 minutes to Squaw Valley. Yeah, 10 minutes to Squaw Valley. Said that, thank you, honey. Uh, the best mountain. Yeah, we really like skiing there, but we're gonna ski heavenly soon. So we'll report back on what we think about that. Um, but yeah, we're driving home. I'm kind of excited to be at lower elevation. I don't know if my body fully likes higher elevation. So we're slowly working our way down. I usually feel a little bit better around 3,000 feet after being at 6,000 feet, but it's really beautiful. So there's mountains and nature. We're currently driving past the big barren hill, but there's lots of snow. I think you can see behind us. There it is. Another benefit of doing here is that it's highway almost all the way. 
Yeah, versus South Lake, you so have to drive like a much more much more windy path through the mountains, yeah. which causes more problems when if there's a huge snowfall. It's a little bit more manageable. A, yeah, and it, the because it's a three lane highway pretty much all the way to Tahoe City until you turn off to Tahoe City. The road is a little bit more managed, and it also less congestion. So there we go. That's why we like North Lake, I guess, because it's got Squaw Valley. It's got a little bit more of a nature vibe um, and more like walking paths and things to do like that. Um, and the route there is a little bit more direct. You basically stay on Highway 80 until you get to Truckee and then you turn down into the lake and it's like a 20 minute more single ended like two way road. But I'm looking over there because there's another mountain where people are seeing. <laughs> 